cold was known from ancient time to be a pain reliever. Only recently has it made its way into electrophysiology. We have now treated over 35,000 patients with the cryo balloon. I started with the cryoablation technology in 1995. The main problem was how to get cold in a beating heart. I was motivated to investigate this technology because I found that RF was not perfect. At the time, we had a few arrhythmias that could not be treatable with RF because the energy was too powerful. When you have uneven depths of scarring, then you can have pulmonary vein reconnection being the highest cause of recurrence of arrhythmia. I think that the, the Arctic Front Advance is an evolutionary change. We're moving from what was a first generation purpose-built device to essentially a refinement of the technology. The physicians that we work with really want to involve us in their ideas. We spend countless hours in EP labs. We get first-hand feedback regarding their needs. These engineers from the Medtronic team were fantastic and they understood very well what I wanted because I was handling the catheter in front of them. I think just seeing that is worth a thousand words. You have a specially designed balloon apparatus that is meant to occlude the vein through the delivery of refrigerant, freeze and create a scar surrounding the vein. So by moving from the Arctic front to the Arctic front advance, we should be able to get more efficacious, longer lasting PV isolation in a wider number of variant PV anatomies. Even cool technology is the optimization of the refrigerant flow inside the balloon. On the existing balloon, there's four jets that are positioned just past the midline that spray the cryo refrigerant out to the face of the balloon. The evolution towards the Arctic front advance now has a spiral of eight jets that result in a more uniform cooling across the face of the balloon that's deeper towards the tip. It's a more forgiving tool, it's a more versatile tool, and it provides predictable and repeatable results. The results of the Arctic Front Advance limited launch have been extremely exciting. We've been able to achieve what we wanted to achieve with the product. That's just good engineering. I don't know how to describe how thrilling it is to see the excitement that the physicians have for it. They enjoy being part of the development process because they get to see you know, this, the early stages of a product that eventually will be in their hands. From the hospital clinic point of view, you're able to decrease your waiting lists at the same time as you know that you're providing a safe, efficacious procedure. Cryo's here to stay, and I think that's what we've proven with the Arctic Front Advance.